The soldier is the army. No army is better than its soldiers. The soldier is also a citizen. In fact, the highest obligation and privilege of citizenship is that of bearing arms for one's country. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs estimates that more than 42 million Americans have served in the military. There are more than 3 million veterans receiving benefits from the VA as recompense for their service, some dating back to World War II. In July of 2000, a group of veterans, servicemen, and community leaders created the Memorial for All Veterans of Brazos Valley Incorporated, an organization bent on honoring the veterans of past, present, and future. The Veterans Park and Athletic Complex is a sprawling mix of sports fields and wooded trails marked with memorials to major U.S. conflicts. Eight statues have been erected in the Brazos Valley Memorial Park since it was dedicated on November 10, 2002. A tour of the park is like a ride through history, honoring the valor of military men and women through more than two centuries of war and peace. It started with the Declaration of Independence and ended with the Treaty of Paris. The American Revolutionary War marked a changing of the guard. The separation of American colonies not only marked a new era in the British Empire, but also the welcoming of a new trading power in global commerce. American casualties from the war are estimated to be from 4,000 to 25,000 in the Army and Navy. Dedicated on July 1, 2010, this statue is titled Liberty or Death and stands a few hundred feet from the park's largest monument, the Wall of Honor. A defeat three decades prior didn't keep the British from attacking the Americas again in 1812 in a bid to reclaim the U.S. and Canadian territories. The war lasted three years with more than 2,000 Americans dying in the conflict. The British abandoned their campaign in response to continued siege in Europe during the Napoleonic Wars. Dedicated on June 1, 2012, the Don't Give Up the Ship monument is in honor of the seamen and frontier troops that rallied to fight back the British invasion. Come and Take It monument was dedicated on October 2, 2010. It stands in memory of approximately 1,000 Texas rebels that beat back 7,000 Mexican troops from 1835 to 1836. More than 400,000 troops died in the Allied fight against Germany, Italy, and Japan. The war was waged on all fronts, by land, by sea, and by air. The invasion of Normandy, D-Day, is still one of the most heralded efforts in military history. Letters from Home was dedicated on November 11, 2013, in honor of the troops that fought in the European theater. The Day of Infamy statue was dedicated on December 7, 2011, and stands in memory of those who fought in the Pacific Theater, including the attack on Pearl Harbor. The war in Korea was one of two major non-victories for the U.S., the conflict against North Korea ended on July 25, 1953 with an armistice. More than a million Americans served in the war, with 36,000 losing their lives. The Memorial and College Station features its two statues standing together. Titled Kachi Kapshida, Korean for We Go Together, the statues are a symbol of the compromising accord that ended the war. The conflict in Vietnam is one that has received mixed reviews from historians. Culturally, the U.S. was changing at home and abroad as civil rights came to the forefront. The Hot LZ Monument now greets visitors to the Veterans Park with a full-scale helicopter and troops leaning out of the compartment door. 
The monument was dedicated in May as a tribute to the troops, volunteers, and draftees who served in the conflict that was escalated in the 1960s and officially ended in 1975. The 12 years of fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan has certainly shaped our view of modern warfare. More than 2,300 American troops died overseas in the conflict. Nearly 3,000 Americans died in the 9-11 attacks. The War on Terror Monument was dedicated on May 31, 2005 and is the first of several memorials planned to commemorate the various wars and deployments over the past decade. The Wall of Honor is where all Americans, veterans and non-veterans, come to commemorate their family. Members of every military branch, including 24 U.S. presidents, are etched into the large granite walls. The bronze sculpture atop the monument was commissioned by New York artist Robert Eccleston. It was dedicated on November 10, 2002 as the first memorial at Veterans Park. Each year on Veterans Day, the new names that are added to the wall are read aloud during a ceremony at the plaza. More information about the Veterans Park is available at bvvm.org.